Hey y'all, I'm making this video as the sun is setting, uh, but I felt compelled to do this. This isn't going to be a fun video. Um, it's in response to a very passionate video recorded earlier uh, from Jess at Roots and Refuge Farm about the use of broadleaf herbicides in fields and how those herbicides get into uh, the soils that she unfortunately purchased for her high tunnel which has now proved to be poisoned. Uh, her, her plants are dying and I've been aware of this issue for over 10 years and I've preached about it when I teach my straw bale to gardening classes and how important it is to source your straw from someone who's not using a broad uh, a broadleaf herbicide on their fields because even though the manufacturer will tell you that it, it doesn't it doesn't stay in the plant it does it it stays in the soil for three years and animals that are grazed on a field that has been treated with a broadleaf herbicide such as grazon or chaparral uh, eat eat enough of the chemical that even though it goes through all their all through their digestive tract comes out in their manure and then you use the manure in your garden or companies will incorporate large amounts of manure from cattle ranches and, or, or dairies uh, and part of their bagged compost that we buy sometimes in yellow bags uh, that has enough of the herbicide in it still after going through the animal to show up in the compost that they're selling you. How do you know that you've, been, you've had poisoned soil? You plant your plants, they come up, they do great to a certain height, and then they start to brown on the margins of the leaves and curl, and then they die. Tomato plants are especially susceptible to this type of poisoning. So why is this important? Why, why must we all start thinking about this? Because we're poisoning the planet, y'all. We're poisoning Mother Nature. We're, uh, with the disruption in the, in the supply chain, with food production issues, uh, with war issues, whatever, we're going to lose the ability to feed ourselves and grow our own. I'm very passionate about this, and I have been, and I'm so glad that Jess made her video and that other homesteaders and gardeners are listening and have been out here talking about these problems for a while now. I first became aware of Grazon, um, or actually the, um, and I'm going to read the name of the chemical to you, because um, I think you need to know. Any of the broadleaf herbicides, I'm going to change the angle of the camera, because we are use, losing our light. Oh. Okay, I'm shaded partially by my tomato plants back there, but any, any of the herbicides that have chemicals in the amino pyrolade or pyrolid family uh, are, are going to cause problems in our soil and in our animals. And if, and if they're grazing dairy cow, d dairy, dairy cattle, who's to say that's not in the milk? You spell the chemical A-M-I-N-O-P-Y-R-A-L-I-D. Their sister chemicals are C-L-O-P-Y-R-A-L-I-D or Picloran. P-I-C-L-O-R a N. I I can't stress enough that this is not a conspiracy theory. This is real. And for those of you who are struggling to feed yourselves, who are trying to grow your own vegetables and plant plant your garden and only to watch your plants shrivel and die, and you know you've applied 
compost that you bought, that you trusted from a trusted source, or sourced straw that you think you, you're staying natural and still had it happen, this is why. These chemicals are present. We need to get the message across to our ranchers, to our uh, suppliers that we don't want this, that we're killing the planet. And in the way we're going, you know, we're not going to be able to feed ourselves. So just me just mentioned um, that as an individual, maybe we're not important. We're just a drop of water. But you know what? If all of all of us we drops of water get together, we can become a waterfall. And y'all, water moves mountains. Please speak out about this. Discourage people from using it. When you source your straw, ask questions like, was this was this straw grown on a field treated with a broadleaf herbicide? Um, some of the most common chemicals, and, and sometimes your supplier will know and sometimes they won't, are known as uh, Grazon, Chaparral, or Mile milestone. If you write those three things down and ask your, your the source of your straw or your compost or any of these three chemicals used on the fields where the straw was grown or the animal was grazed, walk away. You know what, it's even in the chicken feed you feed your chickens. Because the grain may have been grown on a field, treated with this, and it's in the grain. The chickens eat it, and it's got to be part of their uh, what they produce, whether it's their manure you're using or eggs that you're eating. Yeah, we're poisoning ourselves. We have got to stop this. We only have one planet, and this isn't a political video. It's a video trying to get the message across that we're in crisis and unless we get control of the way things are done around us we're doomed our children are doomed our grandchildren are doomed and what are you going to say to the creator when you knew about it and did nothing anyway If you like my content, please subscribe. If you like what I'm saying, give me a thumbs up. I'll probably get some thumbs down, but you know what? It's all right. You got the message, and I hope it makes you think. Until next time, see ya.